Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen today. I hope that it brings a little sunshine into your lives, uh, showing you how to cook different things. So I decided today, since uh, getting out to the shops is not an easy thing to do and sometimes you might forget to get your dog treats. Uh, so I wanted to show you how to make some really, really easy, no fuss dog treats today. Uh, only takes moments to put it together and your dogs are going to love you. Uh, let's see who's on here. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Nice to see you. And, um, this only takes a really, a few minutes and you can make them for your, not only for your dogs, for your cats too, of course. And I think the ideal, who's on? <laughs> Oh, Kathy's saying hello. That's great. I think the ideal thing is just on the size of your cookie cutter. So if you've got a big dog, you could use a big cutter like this. It's a little heart. All right. If And I've got different kinds of cutters here. I've got sort of what you call scone cutters. And they come in sort of different sizes. So depending on the size of your dog, I've got a little cutter like this, but this is my favorite wee ones that I'm going to be using today, and that's my little doggy bone cutters. So these are cute. Uh, they come in three different sizes, so large for your big, big dogs, and medium, and tiny for your weenie dogs. So I usually use the tiny one because it makes them go a lot further when I'm cutting the biscuits, and uh, so I get a lot more treats out of it. And these are, it's basically three ingredients only. Who's on? Aileen, how are you? <laughs> Aileen inspired me today. She said, get on there and do your dog biscuits. So I said, okay, I will. I'm trying to do a little video for you each day because it uh, just maybe spill, fills a space in your kitchen. And it's, it's fun. And uh, my recipes, as you know, are easy, whether they're for humans or dogs and cats. And Jeannie, Mc, Jeannie Furson, she's on here. Hi, Jeannie, you've been doing a great job on sewing those masks. I saw, I wish I lived close by you. I'd buy one of them from you. They were so pretty. She did all these lovely, beautiful masks to give to her friends and family out of tie-dye fabric and all sorts of fabric. Another friend of mine, Lisa Lamparty, she's making them in, um, who's on here, Alex? Hi, Alex. She's making them in Florida. Uh, and they're giving them out to the, the hospitals and things like that, which is a lovely thing to do. Um, I saw somebody making a mask on here um, uh, the other day, and he just got a sort of like a piece of, say a washcloth or kind of a kitchen napkin, not a paper napkin, like a cloth napkin, and fold it like you do the mask, uh, put a plastic band on each end, bring the sides in, and basically you can just clip it on Clip it on your face, so I thought that was pretty cool. Nice, easy idea. Giovanni, how are you? Good morning, and Joanne. <sighs> oh, Jeannie, thanks very much. I think I've got some masks here. Um, I managed to buy a box full before I left. Keep your masks for people who need them, Jeannie, but thank you very much. I'll take you up on that. Uh, later on, after this is all over, I'll get you to make me a mask like that. Uh, but keep them for your friends and family just now. I've got a couple of paper masks here that I managed to get a box full when I was in Florida. Just the last box that was in Walmart at the time. But that's a really kind offer, Jeannie. Thanks very much. Uh, love from Belgium, Alan. Thank you. You got your cookbook okay, I hope. Because remember... Yeah, there was a little period of time that it was held up there. And Lorraine, how are you, Lorraine? Thanks for coming on. And Sherry. <laughs> well, Lorraine, you're going to be very interested in this video today because I'm making um, very easy peasy dog biscuits. Three ingredients. Oats, wholemeal flour, uh, and uh, sardines. So you just buy our little tins of sardines like this in sunflower oil. It doesn't matter what brand. I, I, I just picked them up in the shop. They're not very expensive either. So these treats are not only easy to make, they're very, very inexpensive because you can buy great big bags of oats for next to nothing. And it's just a little bit of wholemeal flour or use any kind of flour that you like. If you like almond flour or coconut flour, you can use any type of flour that you have because I know flour is a big shortage at the moment. 
and a friend of mine. Hey, Susan. Oh, Susan Pace, how are you? Nice to see you. And Suzanne. <laughs> Oakley loves dog treats. Lorraine's just saying to me there. Yes, well, I think most of our dogs love dog treats, but also these are good for cats too. But what I would suggest for a cutter for a cat, I mean, I have the tiny peeny weeny heart, as you can see there, but I think for a cat might be an idea if you have an apple core, the circle on the apple core, or something with a really small circle to cut the treats out like that, that would be uh, more sizable for for a kitty cat. Uh, that's what I thought anyways All good Susan. I'm so glad to hear I saw you made your chicken curry the other night. It looked great And Melanie, how are you? Nice to see you as well um, Anyway, I thought I'd just come into your kitchen and share this little tip with you I made a video of this on YouTube, which you can look at uh, ages and ages ago, quite a few years ago, and I just thought, ah, oh, it's time to make those dog treats. Plus, I'm running out of dog treats, and I don't want to run to the shops just for dog treats. So I thought it'd be nice to just come on here and make some quick and easy dog biscuits. So I've got 300 grams of oats, and I couldn't pronounce his name the other day, but I think it's Flavens, Flavens Oats. I, I, I bought this really because I like this retro tin. I thought it was quite cute. So then I bought a great big bag of the same oats. And plus, these oats are very good, by the way. I eat these for breakfast most mornings. They're lighter, quick cooking, microwavable porridge oats, which is wonderful for me because, oh, this is the taste of Ireland. It says, enjoy the taste of Ireland. Favorite porridge. Yeah, well, I have to say, it's my favorite porridge now, too. So I'm using that, quick oats, and I'm using 300 grams. Oh, first, I can tell you what I'm going to do. Sorry. I've got two tins, 120 gram tins of sardines. These things stink. And sorry, I meant to put them in first with the oil. I'm just going to put that in my garbage tin there because I. Oh, the smell. <laughs> I do like sardines, I have to say, but I prefer to be in Portugal sitting under the bridge uh, eating them in the capital city. They have a great big place there. But they cook sardines all day on a grill. Oh boy, they are good. I don't really like tin sardines, but the dogs love them. So we're going to mash them up first. Yeah, I almost made a mistake there, <laughs> but I do make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> Oh, one of my friends said something really lovely. Her little daughter, seven years old. What did she say? You don't have to be perfect to be awesome. Uh, Dana Leek, that was your little daughter, seven years old. I read that today. Out of the babes of, out of the mouths of babes, they say, right? So just mash your sardines. If you don't have uh, sardines, you can use like mackerel. Uh, I wouldn't suggest tuna because these mash up. They really mash up. But if you have any other kind of tin fish, that really the consistency will just mash up almost like a potato, mashed potato almost. So it wouldn't really work well with tuna. Not unless you blitzed your tuna. If you blitzed your tuna and made it creamy, maybe added a little yogurt to it and then blitzed it in the uh, in your um, food processor, that might work. That might work. Yeah, why not? So just mix your oats, that's 300 grams of oats, in with your oat, in with your um, sardines. I'm also gonna put 60 grams of wholemeal flour in here. You could also add, I was thinking, a couple of tablespoons of uh, natural Greek yogurt to this if you wanted. You could also put a little squeeze of honey in here. You know what? I think I'm gonna put a little squeeze of honey. You know why? It might, um, my dogs love sweet things. Uh, it's very strange. So that's your three ingredients in here so far. And you've still got, you know, you, you've still got to get a consistency going here. Yeah, so you can put some honey in, mix the honey, I don't honey and fish, I'm not sure. Maybe I better just stick to the recipe. I think I'll stick to the recipe for once. I'm always going off piece with my recipes. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still wearing my Fitbit. I'm not sure why, because I'm not sure how many times I can walk around a kitchen island. Oh, I've gone 4,000 steps today, so if my friend Rachel Boyd was watching, her and I have a little competition most days to see who does the most steps. <laughs> 
especially when you hit 10,000. I used to do about 20,000 a day, but not at the moment. Fortunately, I haven't gained any weight. And uh, trying to uh, keep as fit as possible. I've got my hula hoop going. Now, it's almost there for rolling out, but not quite. Let's see, I've still got some of that fish to mix in through here. But who's on? Liz, Carrie, and Carol, nice to see you, and Brenda, good morning, and Maria. Hello, hello. They're saying good morning to me because it's morning where they are. If there's any my friends here watching, living in the UK. I don't know if Lorna's on. If you're on, Lorna, say hello. And Nicholas, if any of you guys are on, say hello. Sometimes I miss when I'm, when I'm mixing stuff. I sometimes miss some of the names that come up here. So don't, don't mind me if I do. Okay, I think that is just about, I'm gonna just add a touch more water because the, when I'm rolling them out, I put a little bit of flour on the surface. So how easy is this for your dogs? I've made another really nice treat and my dogs didn't care for it too much, but I had a friend's dog who loved them and I made pumpkin treats and I do have some pumpkin in my freezer. So I think maybe I'm going to uh, make some pumpkin treats. It's always nice to have something on hand that's easy to make if you've got any oats in, that is, or you can put them on your shopping list for your next shop because they're really, really reasonable to buy. So <clears throat> I'll get my little doggy cutter here, see who's on. Amy, hi. Amy from Canada, nice. Uh, Lorraine, yes, actually, <laughs> you can eat these. Humans can eat these. So, uh, not without a problem. What I do is I do a combination of bones and hearts. So I do a little heart and I do a little bone. And I'm just gonna take half this, I'm gonna flour up my surface here first a little bit. Put those oats over here. A few stray oats. Hi Tammy and Bonnie, how are you girls? So these are dog biscuits if you're just coming on and you don't know what I'm doing here. These are dog biscuits, three ingredient dog biscuits if you don't count the water. that If you count the water, it makes four. And I'm just going to take a part of the mix. This makes probably, I don't know, depending on, of course, how big your cutter is. So you just get your ball like so. Okay, I don't make, I just do them in small batches. Put a little bit of flour on there. You can see all right there and just take it down to about I'd say about a half an inch about two centimeters in thickness two or three centimeters in thickness I'm just gonna pull that up a bit just put a little bit of flour on your deck and there we go you can do it with your hand too you don't need a rolling pin okay so nothing fancy and then just cut them out. And there's my little first dog bone there. And I just get a tray. Hang on, you stay still now. Don't go anywhere. I get a tray. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on the tray. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put them, line them up on the tray as I make them. And that's a bone, one bone. Hi, Lucas, how are you? Have you just come on? Because I'm making dog and cat treats, Lucas. Three ingredients. Uh, 300 grams of uh, oats, 60 grams of wholemeal flour, and two tins of sardines in sunflower oil. I like to do them. So these are so cute. You'll love them. And they don't take long in the oven. Just put your oven on at 350. Get that preheated. And you just need to put them in the oven for about 15, 15, 20 minutes. Keep your eye on them because you don't want them to go too brown. And everybody's ovens are different. So I'm just going to put them on my board. Like so. Get as many as possible on there. This probably makes about four dozen, I seem to remember. Uh, the last time I made them. I'm going to make some hearts. So basically you can make any shape you want. I like to make hearts for them. And 
then we're just going to put all this together again and we're going to start over and I've still got a whole batch in the um in the bowl there to to roll out so obviously I'm not going <clears> to <throat> do them all here just right at this minute because I don't want to make this video too long I just want you to have enough time to see how I'm doing it <laughs> Lorraine's saying something there Peppy something about Peppy I'm not sure what you mean there Lorraine ah uh, Okay, so there we go. I just patted that all out together and I'm going to maybe do hearts. And I just keep working on this piece until it's all finished. And if I've got a couple of scraps left, I add that in later on. There, little tiny hearts. See how simple? I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. You could add, I said to you, a couple of tablespoons of... Um, of uh, yogurt if you wanted. Yeah, that would be quite nice and you could add some honey if you wanted, but I'm not sure about the taste with the sardine, because it's a pretty strong taste, smell, you know? So I just flatten that out again. And just keep working this piece until you got them all done. There you go. And preheat your oven to 350 and then cook them for about 20 minutes. Keep your eye on them, okay? Because everybody's oven is different. So I can't necessarily tell you. If you've got a fan oven, it works quicker than others. So that's my first batch all ready to go in the oven. And then I'm gonna do up the rest. So basically that's it. You can get a couple of trays all lined up with your bits and pieces on like that. So I'll just go over the recipe again for you. Let me just wipe some of this down because I tend to lean on the counter there and it'll be all over my clothes. Let's see who's on here. Hey Tammy, hi. Good to see you girls. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's 300 grams of oats, okay? Um, you can Google that if you need to convert it to ounces, all right? And 60 grams of whole meal flour or whole wheat flour or whatever kind of other flour you wanna use. If you wanna use almond flour or coconut flour two little tins of sardines and sunflower oil. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, Jeannie, that's nice. Jeannie's just saying, I'm, she's glad I do these videos each day. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, it takes up some time on your day, doesn't it? And just, you can come in and see what I'm cooking. So that's why I, call, I think I'm gonna call this slot, uh, What's Cooking with Mary? Um, so, you know, every day I can do something a little bit different. I did, uh, in case anybody's interested, I did a lemon lime uh, cheesecake um, two days ago, which is on there for you to watch on Mary's Kitchen. I did blueberry pancakes, which is also on there for you to watch. You can also go on my website, www.maryjoancalder.com, and you can find some recipes, you can find some soups, um, some appetizers, and. Every so often we're going to keep adding recipes on there so you'll see. You can also go on my YouTube. If you go on my website, you can click the button on my YouTube and you can go in and see all my videos that I, I've done on YouTube a lot, quite a lot. Uh, probably about 40. There's about 40 on there at the moment. So please uh, go on there and have a good look at some of these. <laughs> I like what's cooking with Mary, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. And Julia, hi, how are you? Well, listen, thank you very much for coming on and taking the time to watch this. I hope that these treats, your dogs and your cats will like. As I say, find a little tiny, like an apple core to do the cutouts for the kitty cats, okay? And actually, if you're making these for kitty cats, you could probably half the recipe, okay? 150 grams of oats, 30 grams of, um, <clears throat> wholemeal flour and one tin of sardines, all right? You can even have the recipe for your dogs if you've got a small, smaller dog, but I, I tend to make a lot because I've got a lot of mouths to feed, feed over here. Hey, Wendy, hi. Thank you so much, you're gonna make, yes, well, this is a great idea, Melanie. Um, uh, I had suggested this when I made the video a few years ago and one of my friends went out and got these lovely little clear cellophane bags and she got this ribbon with paws on it and she put, 
you know, maybe a dozen in the bag and gave them out as gifts to her friends who had dogs. It's kind of a nice kind of like, you know, if you go over to somebody's house for a meal or something, it's something unusual to take them. So if you know they're, that they're pet lovers, you could take them some little treats for their dogs. So it's great and it's very inexpensive. It doesn't cost anything to make these. So listen, have a wonderful day as best you can. Uh, probably your Scrabble boards are getting worn out. In my case, I like to play chess. Uh, so, um, and good, have some good, take the time to have some fun with your family if you're stuck indoors and, uh, bonding. Uh, I had the postman come recently and he said that's, he can't believe it, how much time he's got with his kids and getting an opportunity to almost get to know them. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So I'll say cheerio. Hey, Julie. Hi. And, um, <clears throat> have a wonderful day and uh, hope you get a chance to make some of these dog biscuits or cat biscuits for your pets and remember if you see someone without a smile give them yours take care